Mm. It's, it's so delicious. delicious. Mm. <sighs> I never knew that cold stones could be used to cook soup. <gasps> These stones here are amazing. <laughs> Actually, as long as you pick the right stones, you can cook soup anywhere. Really? Well, it all starts with the transfer of heat. Heat is transferred when a high temperature is transferred to a low temperature. There are three ways heat can be transferred, including heat conduction, heat convection, and heat radiation. When heat is transferred by contact with a solid or stationary liquid, it's called heat conduction. When heat becomes transferred by a moving liquid, it's then called heat convection. Heat radiation doesn't have to be transferred through an object. When the sun shines on us, it's a type of heat radiation. I get it! Cooking stone soup is the transfer of heat through a solid and stationary water. So it's a heat conduction. Hmm. In addition to that, we can stir the water in the pot and use heat convection to heat it up even faster. Well, my mic kept adding new stones into the pot. So tell me, why do you need so many stones to cook it? That is because the stones and the water in the pot both have different heat capacities. Heat capacity is the amount of energy needed to increase the temperature of an object by one degree. When the amount of an object increases, the heat capacity increases. So you need more energy to increase the temperature. The heat capacity of a pot of water is greater than a stone. So before the water boils, the heat energy in the stone is used up. So we have to continuously add more red hot stones to replace the cooled stones in order to maintain and increase the temperature of the water. Grown-ups taught me and Mai Mai to pick this kind of stone for cooking soup. But we really don't know why it's the best kind of stone for cooking. This kind of stone is called a Mai Fan stone. When you roast it, it doesn't crack like the other stones which contaminate your food. So it is the best kind of stone for cooking soup. So that's why. 